Good morning, judges. Today, I'm proud to present to you my projects on the scout. So, in our daily life, we often encounter various discount, no matter when we're shopping or when we're at restaurants. However, do you know what are the difference between different discount? And sometimes, actually, the discount doesn't seem that much as you thought. Now, let us delve deeper into about what a discount. So, firstly, let's define discount. So, discount are given to a customers when they purchase over a very amount of money or on any purchases. They can be expressed in various forms, including a 10% off, 15% off, or a buy one get one free, buy free get two free, and buy five get one free. So now let's look at the first scenario. The service charge and discount. So at restaurants, for example, assuming that a meal costs you $200, and the restaurants include a extra 10% service charges. So your mother has gave you $200 cash and a 10% of coupon to pay the restaurant, to pay the meal. So actually you need to get back $2 change. The reason is that the 10% of service charge and the 10% of coupon cannot cancel out each other. If we have a deeper calculation, we'll find out that after the 10% service charge, then we times the total by 0 0.9, we'll get 198, which 200 minus by 198 equal to a $2 change. So now let's look at the next scenario. What is the difference between a buy one ten thousand get one thousand free and a ten percent of discount? To many people, when we first look at a buy ten thousand get one thousand free, we will assume that it looks the same as a ten percent of discount, but actually, it doesn't. At buy 10,000 get 1,000 free discount, you can calculate by subtracting 10,000 over 11,000 and we times that 100%, we realize that it's actually a 9% off. Therefore, it doesn't equal to a 10% off discount to companies by giving a one ten thousand get one thousand free discount to customers, company can even earn one percent more profit. Now let's look at the third scenario. So the third scenario is the first scenario is the difference between a buy one thousand get one hundred dollars free buy two thousand get two hundred dollars free and it buy five thousand get five hundred dollars free so when you look at it it looks similar right but actually the barrier you need to obtain this discount is actually different so for the buy one thousand get one hundred three you actually just need to buy one thousand in order to obtain this discount However, for the buy 5,000 get 500 free, you actually need to pay $5,000 in order to get a discount. Not only is that difference, but actually the actual percentage difference is also different. So when we let's look about Ben Fort laws. So if we assume that the amount spent by the customers lies between 1,000 to $9,000 we can calculate the percentage 
by using this equation shown on screen. So, for example, if the person buy two thousand dollars, the range of the percentage of people who buy two thousand to two thousand and nine hundred ninety nine dollars, it will be supping x equals to two into the equations. So now we can see on the left hand side there is the percentage of the different discount. So actually if a person buy only one thousand dollar they can enjoy the discount that offer you a buy one thousand get one hundred free. But if the companies change the barrier to buy five thousand get five hundred dollars free, the Customers who only purchase for one thousand dollars cannot obtain this discount. Assuming that the barrier is five hundred dollars to obtain the discount, it's only seven point nine percent of the customers will be able to enjoy. So although it looked the same, by five thousand get five hundred free only account for three point seven percent, but to customers it actually look more of a 10% off so this is how companies use the way of perceptions of a customers to do discount to earn more profit lastly we're going to talk about the order of discount so actually the order of discount also matters for example we have two discount at 20% off and it buy three thousand free three hundred dollars. So if a company charge a twenty percent off discount first, then to buy three thousand free three hundred dollars, the customers will need to pay three thousand and seven will need to buy actually three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars good in order to obtain that discount. It's because the twenty dollar twenty percent discount is calculated first. However, if the company offers to buy three thousand free three hundred dollars discount first, then the twenty percent of discount, the customers will only need to pay for, and only need to buy good of three thousand dollars in order to obtain.